The Mega Millions jackpot is now the Mega Billions. There it is. <laughs> well, the grand prize for the winning ticket has reached an estimated $1.3 billion ahead of tonight's drawing. That's right. It's the second largest prize in the 20-year history of the game. It falls behind the record $1.5 billion ticket won in 2018 in South Carolina. The odds of winning the jackpot by matching all six numbers are approximately one in 300 and three million. And I always say it always seems like it's in some smaller state and some rural area. Not New York Never City. Never New York City. We have City. no hope, Michelle. <laughs> and while the payoff is high, the chance of winning isn't as favorable as you could imagine. In comparison, your odds of being struck by lightning are one in 1.2 million in a given year. And you're 70 times more likely, get this, to be killed by a shark than winning a billion dollars. But, jo oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so joining us for more on this is Dan Geltrude. He is a CPA and the founder of Geltrude & Company, an accounting and financial advisory firm. Dan, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Obviously, we're all in, <laughs> right? <laughs> Obviously. Dan, winning this much money can be overwhelming, as great as it would be. If someone wins tonight's jackpot, what's the first thing they should do besides call you? Okay, so the first <laughs> thing you do is protect that ticket. That's, a, that's literally a billion dollars on a piece of paper. So you want to make sure you secure that, that ticket, number one. Number two is, yes, you need to call an accountant, you need to call a financial advisor, and you need to get a lawyer. Why? Because you have to protect yourself. So you want to stay anonymous, low-key, don't get on social media, don't tell anyone. The, these are really important <laughs> things. They seem silly, and you're going to be really excited about it. But the best thing you could do is lay low and start the enormous amount of planning that you're going to need to manage that much money. Yeah, you know, we were talking about, like, would we show up to work <laughs> on Monday? Will we really? Yes, but, yes. You know, we have to let it soak in. Yeah, just just soak it in. Get your all your stuff in order. Well. <laughs> The $1.28 billion prize is for the players who get their winnings through an annuity. There, there's also a lump sum option estimated at $747.2 million. That, these numbers are just like over my head. What, what's the best option and, and why? So you do have two options, right? So you could say, hey, I want my money now. And as you said, you would get about $750 million today. But then there's also an annuity option. And what that annuity means is, is you would get paid over a 30-year period. That's how you end up collecting the entire almost $1.3 billion. But remember, someone else has your money. So I would say, if you're good at handling money and you're disciplined, Take your money now. Take the $750 million in order to make up that difference between the $1.2 and the $750 billion. You need to get about 3 to 5% return on your money, and you'll outperform the annuity. So that's the option I would take. However, let me say this. 70% of the people that win the lottery go broke. So discipline, very important. I, how does that happen? I, I, I just, it's, I think they, you know, you get overwhelmed, you overspend, you share. That's why it's good to keep it a secret. <laughs> Dan, Uncle Sam will certainly want his cut. How will taxes factor into this? Well, taxes are going to be significant here. To start with, when we talk about Uncle Sam, which, of course, is the federal government, right off the bat, they're going to take 24% in withholding. OK, but you're going to owe more tax than that. Then if you're in a state like I am, New Jersey, that taxes the lottery. Not every state, by the way, taxes the lottery, but most states do. When you factor in state tax, now get this, you only end up with about a third of <gasps> the advertised jackpot. What? So from $1.2 billion, you're only going to end up with... A poultry four hundred million. If you take the lump sum, <laughs> is it worth it, you know ladies? What? 
<laughs> it's way more it's, than I have I would take, today. I'd take $200, really, yeah, and be thrilled. Really. <laughs> Dan Geltrude, we thank you so much. Really eye-opening pieces of information. I did not know. We'll call you if we win, Dan. Please do. <laughs> and good luck.